Given the functions f of x and g of x, find each composite function. Make note of any transformations as you complete your work. In part a, we'll derive m of x equals f of g of x. Set up the workspace. We write f of g of x using regular function notation. Replace g of x with 3x. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate f at 3x. We know that f of x equals x plus 1 squared. So f at 3x equals 3x plus 1 squared. The answer is m of x equals 3x plus 1 squared. This is a transformation. The graph of f of x is horizontally stretched by a scale factor of 1 over 3. Start with the graph of f of x equals x plus 1 squared. Stretch the graph horizontally by a scale factor of 1 over 3. We now have the composite function m of x equals 3x plus 1 squared. In part b, we'll derive n of x equals g of f of x. Set up the workspace. We write g of f of x using regular function notation. Replace f of x with x plus 1 squared. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate g at x plus 1 squared. We know that g of x equals 3x. So g at x plus 1 squared equals 3 times x plus 1 squared. The answer is n of x equals 3 times x plus 1 squared. This is too complicated to use as a transformation, so we'll approach the composition in a different way. Evaluate g at f of x. We know that g of x equals 3x. So, g at f of x equals 3 times f of x. This gives us 3 times x plus 1 squared, the same result we obtained earlier. The difference between this calculation and the one we did before is that we kept f of x in function notation. The graph of f of x is vertically stretched by a scale factor of 3. Start with the graph of f of x equals x plus 1 squared. Stretch the graph vertically by a scale factor of 3. We now have the graph of the composite function n of x equals 3 times x plus 1 squared.